Ahoy there, mateys! Batten the hatches! Trim the sails! Scupper the trim! Today we will be looking at Jolly Rover. Now, first off, Jolly Rover is a point-and-click adventure. It is the genre of dog, if you will. They are all dogs. Uh, every single character is a dog. It's wonderful. I love it. Uh, it's set in a pirate land. It's uh, it's made by Brossom. Now, Brossom is an independent game developer based in uh, Melbourne, in Australia, and it specializes in humorous and accessible non-action games, which means you can click and you don't have to use your other hand, so mostly it's handicap accessible, you know. You can set your own speed on how you do things. Say you're missing a hand, or you've got terrible, uh, what is it, carpal tunnel in your hands. You can play this game. It's at your own pace. Really, it, it's great. Uh, it was, Brossom was founded by Andrew Goulding in 2008. Uh, it has quickly developed a strong reputation for bringing the spirit of classic point-and-click adventures to a modern audience, which was it's excellent. I remember the games between 1990 and 1996, the point-and-click adventures, the Disney snuff. Um, one of my favorites was Freddy the Fish was a point-and-click adventure. There was Putt Putt, uh, the car whatever it was, it, it it really does bring back the classic point-and-click thing. They really do. I love it. Uh, in 2010, they founded international acclaim with Jolly Rover, declaring Best Australian Game at Free Play Awards. It earned five strong reviews. Oh, it earning strong reviews and international retail distribution across five languages. Uh, you can actually download a demo for the game. Uh, I'll give you a link beneath the video to do so. It's on PC or Mac. So, you know, it's up to you. I mean, it's great. You should try it out. You should go to the link, download it, play the demo. If you love it, you should buy it because it's really worth it. Um, even watching my playthrough, you'll see the whole game, but you'll play it yourself and you will still love it. Uh... Brossom is now hard at work bringing their passion and personality to the puzzle genre with their werewolf adventure comedy, MacGuffin's Curse. Uh, I'll give you a link to the Brossom website so you can learn all about them. You can go to their YouTube, their Twitter, their uh, live feeds as well, their Facebooks for each game. It's great. Now, let's cover a little about Jolly Rover itself. Here's a little snippet from their pitch. It is the golden age of pirate. Oh, it be the golden age of pirates, dogs of the sea, quite literally. Our swashbuckling sausage dog star is Gaius James Rover, son of the famous clown Jolly Rover, who died from a blow to the groin from an improperly loaded joke cannon. Following the tragically comedic death of his father, young Gaius goes to live with his uncle, a wealthy plantation owner on a small Caribbean island. That wasn't mentioned in the game. Mmm, plantation owner, racism, etc. While his uncle is away, a large contract for the potent and addictive Jolly Rover arrives from Guy de Silver, governor of the notorious Groggy Island, with payment up front. In a blinding fury of op flurry of optimism, Gaius pools his meager savings with his blah, blah, blah. having trouble reading. I'm sorry. In a blinding flurry of optimism, Gaius pools his meager savings with advance of charters, a ship, and crew to take him to Groggy Island. Along the way, he meets a colorful band of seafaring cutthroats, scallywags, and rogues, otherwise known as pirates. 
It is here we begin to follow the short and stubby tail of Gaius across three wild and untamed tropical islands as he attempts to fulfill his dream of starting a circus hampered only by pirates, villains, voodoo, love, and considerable lack of loot. There's always loot to be had in Jolly Rover. It's everywhere. It's a point-and-click adventure. It is all about the loot. <laughs> um... And yes, by stubby tail, Gaius Rover is a dachshund. He has short legs, he has short arms, and it shows by the way he walks. <laughs> it's great. Uh, basically, it, it is point and click, but you talk to the NPCs and they give you options of what to ask them, which could possibly affect what you do. Now, a great thing about Jolly Rover is they give you basically a hint button. Throughout the game you'll correct, collect crackers which you can later feed to your parrot. Now this is apparently the oracle of all oracles who speaks in riddles because when you give him a cracker he will tell you what you're supposed to do. Now you can get a small hint by asking him just what he what he thinks I should be doing. Or you can give him a cracker and he'll give you information on almost exactly what you're doing. And sometimes you can even give him a second cracker and he will tell you exactly what to do. How casual is that? I mean, it gives you the option to win the game. I mean, you can get stuck. You really can't. You'll you'll miss something and you'll get stuck for ages. Ugh. But, you know, that option is there and he is a worthy thing to have. Now, like it said, you are where you have to repay the governor of Groggy Island for this shipment that was stolen by pirates. <clears throat> and you he asks for a certain sum of money, which you find throughout the game. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <sighs> That'd be good grog. Put a hand on your chest. <sighs> Jolly Rover includes over 60 beautifully rendered scenes to explore. By scene, they mean the picture which you go through that is interactive part of the game. It has 25 colorful, fully animated, and voiced characters. These are awesome. All the characters have their own personality, they have their own sayings. It's wonderful. I, I love the characters. They're, they really are colorful, like they say. Uh, it's a traditional point-and-click adventure with simple one-click interface, which means Mac users, <laughs> there's one button you have to click it's wonderful, isn't it? I don't use a Mac, but that's beside the point. It has organic and fully integrated hint and task tracking system, which is the parrot, like I was talking about. There's extras, captain bios, concept art, music tracks, and director's commentary. These are your achievements that you unlock throughout the game by finding certain things. And, you know... I think Jolly Rover is a 100% buy for you. It is wonderful. Just watch my playthrough as long as you want, because it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I had fun throughout the entire time. So, it's up to you guys. I say get it. It, it not, who cares how much it is? It's probably only like four or five dollars on Steam and Desura, and I think you can even buy it from Brossom's website as well. So, with that, I leave you Jolly Rover. Peace out.